Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be on Google Forms. Google Forms is an amazing program that allows you to survey students, parents, other teachers, whoever you want. Uh, students can even use it for market research or whatever it is that they need to survey other students about. As anything in Google Drive, I always like to go through the new button here and Google Forms is down here. So if you click on more, Google Forms is the actual first one that comes up. Other ways to get to Google Forms are if you go to your waffle here, Google Forms, there it is. If you open a new tab in Google and you go to the waffle, Google Forms also is there. So let's go ahead and I'll do it my favorite way, which is going into here, clicking on new, down to more and clicking on Google Forms. And it's going to bring you into the new Google Forms. And first thing you might want to do is give your form a title. So I'm going to call this test for video. And with anything in Google, you're going to want to always make sure you have a title so that it saves it. Otherwise, you're going to have a whole bunch of untitled forms or untitled documents in your Google Drive. You can even choose which folder to put this in. So if you click on this, it will bring you right into your drive. So how do we get a first question? Well, it's already set up for you. So let's just kind of go through the different question types. You can say, what is your name? Which is a likely first question that you would have. And I don't know if you noticed that, but it was set up to be a multiple choice question. And Google realized that this was a short answer type of question, so it switched it for you. I'm gonna see if I can show you that again. I wonder if this will default back to multiple choice. Yeah, see multiple choice was the default option, but the minute I say what is your name, it will automatically switch to short answer. So while we're on that topic, if you click down on this drop arrow, it will show you the different types of questions that you can actually ask in Google, in a Google form. There's short answer, there's paragraph, which is a little bit longer than a, in a short answer. A short answer I would, wouldn't say anything more than two or three words. Anything longer than that, I would select paragraph as your option. You have multiple choice, which allow you only to choose one answer. Check boxes will allow you to choose more than one answer. And then drop down is similar to multiple choice in that it gives them a drop down menu. I'm going to show you each of these. There's also some linear scales. This is on a scale of one to 10. How much do you like? blah, 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 and then there's these combination ones. I'll try to give one, one of each as an option here. So we have, what is your name as the first question? Let's add a question. Let's add a multiple choice question. What is your fave color? And we can say red, blue. So I'm just putting all of the options here. Green, pink, and you'll see here, add other as an option. I'd like to do that because maybe the color that we put here isn't one of their favorite colors and they'd like to put other in there. So let's take a look at what that's actually gonna look like. While we're on the topic, you will go up to the top here and we can see there are many options. There are add-ons. I'll talk about the color palette in a while. And this is how you can preview what your form looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And when you click on it, you can see right now, what is your name? What is your favorite color? And that other option didn't show up here. Let's go back and figure out why. Come on. Oh, there we go. You actually have to click on it. So now let's go back and see what that looks like. Maybe I should refresh it. There we go. So now they have the option of other, which will allow them to type in. So what is your name? Fitzy. What is my favorite color? Uh, what color's not there? Black. And I can hit submit you're gonna see what the answers look like eventually when I get to that part of the video. So what is your name? We have a short answer, we have a multiple choice. Let's add another question. On the right hand side here, you're gonna see we have add question. We can add a title and description. Well, we can add images. We could add videos from YouTube and we could create new sections. Let me go down and add another question so that we can get through some of these. Let's do a, I'm not going to do a check checkbox because it's very similar to multiple choice. The only difference is the checkboxes are square instead of circle. 
and the respondent can select more than one. Let's do a drop down just so you can kind of see what that looks like. Again, we can use the exact same question if you want, what is your fave color? Not that you would ever do that in a, in a survey, but red, blue. Uh, this doesn't give you the option of other though, as you noticed. Um, so let's put black just for fun. And let's take a peek at what that looks like so you can see what the drop down looks like compared to the multiple choice. So here's our short answer question. Here's our multiple choice question. And now what is your favorite color? It says choose, so the respondent actually has to click on that and then they can choose their answer and submit the survey. We've submitted a couple times now. Okay, now we're back to the edit version of this. Let's add another question over here. And what are our options left? Let's do a linear scale question on a scale of one to five. How much do you like winter? I can tell you I don't like it at all. And then right now you can say number one will be not at all. On a scale of one to five, how much do you like winter the most? And let's take a peek at what that looks like. So there's our scale. Not at all, I hate it. Whereas five being the most, I love it. So the respondents can do that. And let's go down and add another question. This time, let's do a multiple choice grid. These are one of my favorite type questions. These kind of questions are something that you would want to repeat many, many questions with similar answers as options. So um, I'm just gonna pull an accounting question out of the top of my head for each of the following accounts. Let's say for each of the following accounts, indicate the normal balances. So for each account, let's go, I'm just gonna give a bunch of accounting accounts. Cash, accounts receivable, truck, accounts payable. And then the columns area is going to be what the answers are. So their options are debit or credit in this case and each one of these accounts will only be debit or credit. Let's add one more. Owners. All right, so let's take a look at what that's gonna look like so you get a feeling for that. You're, you're gonna like it. So wherever you have a question that you have the similar answers over and over again, that's when you would choose to do a multiple choice grid. Okay, so I've added two questions that I don't want, which brings me to how do we delete questions? Well, you can delete questions by clicking on that garbage can. Also in surveys, you will sometimes remember when you've, doing, when you've done them yourself that sometimes you can't finish or submit a survey because you haven't completed all the questions. Well, if I click on this question here, that's how you edit it, you will notice at the bottom there's this required field. If you select that, that means the respondent Submit the form without doing that. What else can I show you in this quick preview? Let's do a quick, how do we change the color palette? Right now it is purple. You can easily choose a different color, it's that easy. Or also in there is let's upload an image. I'm gonna just grab an image. Uh, you will see there's a whole bunch of different images that Google provides for you. And some of them are quite nice actually, but you can also upload your own image so that's what I'm going to try and do now. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go back there. Click on image. And at the very bottom, if you scroll down, you can upload a photo or drag and drop one in. So I'm going to drag a photo off of my desktop that I might have. So here's one. Let's drag it in. And, and it's asking you to just kind of center this little box around your picture. Once I hit select, it's going to put my picture up here and it will choose the background color to go with it. You, you don't really have a lot of control over that. Okay, there's a lot more I can show you in Google Forms, but I'm gonna save that to another video. I'm gonna do a couple more in this series. Hopefully this helped. In the next two videos, I'm gonna show you how to look at your responses, and I'm also going to show you how to share your form with others or send it out.